I wasn't raised Catholic. My family, they were all cradle Catholics, but they never took me to church. Jenny, my wife, uh, she's actually the reason why I came back. We started going together a couple times and then she started getting active again and she joined RE and that's when she met a woman named Clarice who's not my godmother. Um, she and her husband are involved with RCIA, asked and suggested if I wanted to look into RCIA just to learn more about the faith. And from there that's when I started learning about um, God and going through that process. But of course, wel Welcome was right around that corner. Uh, when I first heard about Welcome, I was sitting in the back pews of the Central Narthex, <laughs> uh, sitting with Jenny, and she just kind of nudged me a couple of times, and she's like, hey, you should do that. I said, oh, oh maybe. I was just thinking about it. And then we get outside, and there's a gentleman standing with an iPad out talking to someone, and she's like, hey, go sign up. Go, go. <laughs> so I, uh, I went and signed up. And it was the first retreat since COVID. So I actually went to the retreat before I officially became Catholic. I didn't know anyone here at, the, at church. Yes, I was an RCIA, but I knew that small group of 30 people that were trying to become Catholic and the, the staff or the volunteers that were there to help teach them but I didn't really know anyone else. So I felt alone in this huge church where there's thousands of people that come to Mass. Because of Welcome, I found a close group of men that are in my life today, every single one of them. And I think about them and pray with them and talk to them as much as I can. Two things really struck me. Uh, the first was when I first came in, everyone was so welcoming and friendly. To see an environment like that, really made me feel like I wanted these people in my lives and I wanted to know people more. The second thing was adoration. I lost my grandmother back in 2015 um, and she was an extremely devout Catholic. Having that quiet moment with God made me reflect and remember my grandmother. I felt touched, um, like she was there with me. And it was really cold in that room up until that moment where it suddenly I felt warmth on my cheek. And there was something about that weekend. I felt like a million bucks. I felt so light. <laughs> um, I felt like a kid in a candy store. It was freeing. And knowing that I could see these men again was amazing and exciting. I felt a desire to go and see these people and go to church on Sunday the next time and actually recognize someone and be a part of the church. At this time, I was finishing up our CIA, so I was finally becoming an actual Catholic so I could be more involved and I could learn from people and, and really understand everything that we're trying to give and share with each other. I think welcome has a lot that it can offer for a lot of people. You can have your reason and someone else can have another. I went because I wanted people. I wanted to know people. Someone may come just because they want to rekindle their faith. There's a lot that it has, but the biggest thing is for you to be open-minded and open heart. One of the beautiful things about Welcome is getting to feel God's love and how he was always there for you, no matter where you are, no matter what you're going to welcome to do, whether it be your, your wife said you should go, um, or you've been eager to rekindle that flame. He loves you and he wants you in his arms.